click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends today we are going to deal regarding atomic probe microscopy or rather scanning probe microscopy what is the scanning probe microscopy this technique is used in order to analyze the surface characteristics of nano materials when i say nano materials you know that the sizes that we are actually dealing with is of the order of nanometers this means it is almost like we are going to see the atoms one by one the two instruments which fall under this category are mainly scanning tunneling microscope and the atomic force microscope first of all let us deal with the scanning tunneling microscope as you know the word tunneling is suppose i ask you what do you mean by tunneling we normally have a hill and then we we'll dig a tunnel through that and then there is passage of any object from one end to the another end a similar concept is being used in this case wherein what we do is we apply a potential to a surface and we bring a probe near the surface now when this probe is very near to the surface electrons will actually flow from the probe to the material giving rise to something which is called as a tunneling current now when we look from the quantum mechanical aspect of it the tunneling current is basically dependent upon or rather the tunneling current probability is dependent upon many features one of the features is the potential barrier that exists between the two this means the tip and the surface now if you want to say that do the electrons on their own have an energy to tunnel through this potential barrier the, the fact that i'm saying potential barrier is the potential barrier that is existing between the tip and the surface and definitely the electrons do not have the energy to overcome this potential barrier but then why is it that we are able to see or otherwise it that we are having a tunnel tunneling current and the reason for this is the fact is quantum mechanics wherein it says that if at all the potential barrier length is very small then even if the electrons do not have any energy or rather have less energy than the potential barrier then they can actually tunnel through that particular potential barrier the same case happens in the case of scanning tunneling microscope wherein although you have a potential barrier yet you can see a tunneling current now the tunneling current depends basically on three factors one is the tip position second is the voltage that you are actually applying and the third is the local density of states of the electron so your your tunneling current is actually determined by these three features now what you do when you actually scan a nano material with the help of a scanning tunneling microscope so what we do is basically the tip moves at a constant distance from the surface so now in order to maintain the constant distance or rather looking at it from the another another perspective if we want to maintain the same tunneling current in that case what shall happen if we want to maintain the same tunneling current what shall happen so for example let us say there is a bulge there is a bulge at this place right suddenly the tunneling current is going to increase i don't want such kind of increases over there rather what i will do is i'll make the tip up so that the tunneling current will remain the same remember i told you that all of these the tunneling current is dependent upon the position 
it is depending upon the voltage and the local density of states. So, in this case, since there is a bulge, the tip will automatically move up so as to maintain the same magnitude of the tunneling current. But this bulge actually is captured by a kind of device wherein it actually measures this bulge in the it actually measures this bulge in the form of the tunneling current and what you get is an idea of the topography of the material. In a similar way, let us say we are moving to a flat surface, the tip is actually has to move down. So, in this way, I can actually capture the entire topography of the material in three dimensions. So, so students, this is the basic of the scanning tunneling microscope. Since you thanks students for watching this video, do subscribe to our channel Ekeda. Thanks a lot for watching.